hi everyone welcome to today's amazing video in this video i'm going to share a fully funded scholarship for you to study in canada this video will be a step-by-step -step demo of how you can apply to this scholarship and we're going to look at the eligibility criteria and the documents you need for you to benefit from this opportunity kindly watch this video to the end so that you will not miss any part of this video because all of them are important to help you during your application process to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for all your support if you are seeing my face for the first time welcome to the channel my name is Adesi and I am an international student in Germany. In this channel, I share opportunities that can help you to relocate abroad. Kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be among the first to be notified whenever I post a new video. Let's us go to my computer. This is the home page of this scholarship. The name of the scholarship is McCall McBen Scholarship in McGill University in Canada. McGill University is one of the best universities in Canada. So don't miss this opportunity if you want to travel to Canada to study. Now let's look at when this application will open. This scholarship window will open on June 1st for those that want to study by 2024. And this scholarship has up to 30 fully funded scholarships and 100 entrance awards, which will be awarded for summer and fall 2024 admissions. So take note of this period. This is any course you want to apply for admission, you will need to make sure that that course is starting either by summer 2024 or by fall 2024. Then there is an important thing I want you to note here. For you to write an outstanding letter of motivation or statement of purpose, make sure you answer the questions they ask in these five different prompts. For example, they are looking for scholars that have exceptional character. What do they mean by this? You need to value excellence, hard work, service, and lifelong learning. And do you try to act with integrity, honesty, and empathy? In your letter of motivation, you tell them how you strive with integrity and honesty. Do you understand? So that's the same thing with community engagement. You tell them how good you are working with others to address the challenges facing the community and how you pursue breadth and depth of interest through your activities outside the classroom. This can be your voluntary works or anything you are doing outside your classroom that are really contributing to the betterment of your community. And here you also tell them more about your leadership potentials, how you have been leading others towards a common goal. So these are the different things you need to touch while writing your statement of purpose. Here is your entrepreneurial spirit. You can identify unmet needs and motivate others in developing creative solutions to address those needs. So this is it. Kindly go through this, read up about all these things, and then you write your letter of motivation. Believe me, you if you cover these five different prompts that they have stated here, you are boosting your chances of getting the scholarship. So let's look at the eligibility criteria. For you to participate or apply for this scholarship, you need to make sure that if you're a current student, that means in your final year or going to your final year, you need to make sure that you must have obtained your bachelor's degree by August of 2024. So this scholarship, I see they are very generous because they allow you to apply while you are still in the higher institution. And then here you end your first bachelor's degree last five years. So if you have graduated and you your bachelor's degree is not up to five years old that is good you can also apply and here also if you have earned your first bachelor's degree more than five years ago but you are less than 30 years old you are welcome to apply for this scholarship for you to get further information click on this minimum degree and admission requirements so here you see the application steps first you will need to read the admission requirements so for you to know the admission requirements you open this page let me open it in another Tab. So for you to be admitted, you need to have your bachelor's degree or its equivalent. And here, if you go down here, you will see further details. You can read more about this by opening this English language proficiency. So here you will see the different things required. Another good news about this school is your English proficiency is not required. 
if mother tongue or language first learned and still used on daily basis in English. And also, if you have lived and attended university or been employed for at least four consecutive years in a country where English is the acknowledged primary language. So check if you merit any of these criteria, then you know that you don't need to submit your proficiency certificate. Now let's look at the eligible courses. The different courses you can apply for this scholarship is Masters of Arts, Masters of Architecture, Masters of Arts in Teaching and Learning, Masters of Arts in Business Administration, Masters of Masters in Education, Masters in Engineering, Masters in Information Studies. So there is also Masters in Management. So go through this, you definitely see a Masters degree that is related to your previous academic background. And next we are going to look at is the required supporting documentations. First, you will need your statement of purpose or personal statement, and then here the writing sample, your application for assistantship. This is when you want them to consider you for uh, for assistantship, maybe graduate assistantship or teaching or research assistant. And here you also need your CV. The next is your transcript, which is your transcript of records. If your transcript of records is not in English or French, you need to submit a translation of the certificate. An important note here is if your transcript does not indicate the degree that has been conferred on you, that means you need to now submit a copy of your degree certificate. So go through this and another thing you need here is your letter of recommendation. Important things I would like you to note for this letter of recommendation is tell your recommender to state clearly the course you're going for. So you need to pick a course and tell him so that he will write specifically addressing the admission committee of that program. And also here, your letter of mod your letter of recommendation should not be more than 12 months old. So and here you see that the referee must indicate his or her position or title and full contact information and the institution or organization they work for. So your recommender should put these details about himself to make the letter more authentic. So try and tell your recommender all this so that you will not be disqualified because of this criteria. Now let's look at the benefits of this scholarship. This scholarship covers your tuition fees throughout the duration of your master's program. You will also get a living stipend of 2000 Canadian dollars per month during your academic terms. Also, you will get a one-time relocation grant for moving to Montreal. This fee covers your flight ticket and other expenses which you will cover during your relocation process. Another amazing benefit of this scholarship is during the summer term, this scholarship will give you 5,000 Canadian dollars if you apply for you to have a meaningful summer experience. On the McGee University website, you will see that for you to apply for admission, you will first need to pay application fee to submit your application. In the frequently asked question of this scholarship, you will see that you, most people prefer to apply for the scholarship before they apply for admission. So this is a way you can avoid to pay your application fee. So what you need to do is first apply to this scholarship. After applying and you are selected for the interview because here you can see that by December of this year that you will be called for scholarship final interviews. So if you are selected at this stage, you now rush to apply for admission in MACG University. So this is the easy way for you to avoid paying your application fee now without knowing the outcome of this scholarship. And then here on how to apply, you will see that there is need for you to attend information session. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to apply or book a space for this information session. Go through these different meeting times. It's, an, it's one hour meeting, 7 to 8 p.m. in some cases. 4 30 to 5 30 pm check through all these time intervals and dates and not the one that is suitable for you in these meetings they're going to tell you how to apply to this scholarship and what and what you should consider for example if i will be available during the sub-saharan african time all i will need to do is to click here 
this page will open for sub-saharan africa information session to fill in your name your preferred first name your last name your email address and then how did you hear about this scholarship here you fill in the university you are currently going maybe if your school is uh, university of nigeria and soka you can put it in here then you put in your year of graduation if you already graduated you can put it here if you are still if you will be graduating by next year you put 2024 here and then here you will fill in when would you like to start your master's professional so for this you can start by summer or fall of next year so that's the one that will be opening by 1st of june so this is the option you're going to pick and then here you fill in your department the department of interest you have in the mcgill university and here you will see the scholarship eligibility criteria repeated and then if you have canadian status please select here so this if you have canadian status but as an international student in your home country if you tell them none of the above then here you take in here is already thing then you now register they will now send you an email with the meeting link for you to join the meeting and have further information about this application it's very important that you attend this meeting there are different deadlines for this scholarship and as an international applicant you need to work with this date which is august 24th of 2023 that means you have two months plus to apply for this scholarship if you have joined me to this point, thank you so much and don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I wish you all all the best. If you have any questions, you can kindly drop them in the comment section and see you in my next video by God's grace. Bye!